My name is Alexis Avery. I'm a management and program analyst at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and um, I'm 26 years old, and I made, make $77,000 a year. In undergraduate school, I was a resident assistant, which is known as an RA. A lot of people are like hesitant towards being an RA, but it was honestly one of the best experiences of my life. A lot of my residents, I, they're still my friends, but I still call them my residents, <laughs> even though we're totally friends now. Um, so I was able to fund undergraduate school through scholarships and beauty pageants, um, some scholarships with studying abroad, and then being a resident assistant as well, which paid for all of my housing um, the last year and a half that I was in undergraduate school. And then then also um, the Hope Scholarship. I did get it, some scholarships, so I'm very appreciative for that, but I still wish that I went that extra mile and did even more. I know sometimes when, like when I was a student, I would see essays and I would just be like, oh, that's a lot, or you know, 10 page essays or such, but one, you never know what you can get from that scholarship because if you find one scholarship that you're interested in, just write the essay and do it. And then also later on, you never know when that can help you for another essay as well. I finished school with about $60,000 in student loan debt, undergraduate and graduate school combined. Naturally, it weighs on me to have to owe someone $60,000. But what I will say is that I am thankful to be in public service because there is a public service um, forgiveness loan that I am applying to. I'm, I literally just graduated a couple months ago. And so if you pay over a span of 10 years, 120 qualified payments, then your loans are forgiven after those 10 years. So I'm thankful for public service.